Welcome back. We have a uh, 2001 Avalon here. I'm just getting my stuff set up. I'm charging the battery. This thing is in from another garage. Uh, they changed the battery and they put two alternators in it and they quit. It does not charge. Um, so what I want to do is I want to check and see what's going on here and I want to take you guys along for the ride with me. Uh, I unplugged the alternator here to start checking and forgot to turn the camera on so excuse that this plug was plugged in when it came in. However, I just unplugged it and then realized I had the camera off, so I didn't get very far, but... Okay, I got my test light hooked up to ground. I have a diagram, so I'm ready here for testing, okay? First thing I'm going to check is my main battery feed, which is here. This is all that I did, actually. That is checked. We have power. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next circuit, which is white and red. Ignition. Okay, so the key's on. Trying not to drop you guys. White and red. I have power. And I'm going to go down the line here. Red and blue is the light circuit. This should light dim if the bulb is good. Oops. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Try that again. And as you can see, it does. It lights dim. Okay, that's because of the bulb being in the circuit. And I'm grounding the bulb with the test light and essentially turning it on. So that's why you're going to have a dim light there. That's correct. All right. If I took you inside, I could actually show you that it is... Uh, I have no way to hold this at the moment, though. I'm not going to do that. But I could show you that it is turning the light on on the dashboard, the battery warning indicator. Charge. Uh, and the last but not least here is the yellow... Uh, coming from the ECU ignition one fuse uh, That has to have power with the key on or running uh, So we are going to go to the middle terminal We should have power here lights working we have no power there All right, let's go check the fuse guys can't be that easy, right? I don't think so. I mean, I would think that fuse is going to be where? Right here, somewhere. Let's see. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm sorry. My bad. Okay, let's get a 5 amp fuse right back. I'll put a, put a fuse in it. Are good there. Let's go out to our alternator. Make sure that we have our, uh, our feed now to the alternator. I always check my test light, guys, make sure that it's working. Key's still on. I'm going to go to... And there we go. Now we have it. All right. Let's plug this in. See if the fuse blew. Because I don't know what took that fuse out. And I don't like seeing blown fuses like that. Tight under there, guys. Okay, fuse is good. Let's see if our battery indicator is lit. It is. That's a good sign. All right. Battery charger just turned off. Uh, meter's on here. All right, let's see what happens. Look at that. Look at that. Who would have thunk it? 
uh, as you can see here, uh, the gentleman that was working on it decided that he was going to he was going to uh, take the cluster out to see why it wasn't charging. I don't really understand what he was doing here or why, but it is all unbolted. And uh, he's going to have to put it back together. I'm not touching that. I didn't take it off and there's really no reason to uh, there's really no reason for me to get involved there, so he knows how to put it back. You guys, one other thing I wanted to mention here with this uh, Toyota. I had called this customer to ask him what the original complaint was and he said that it's not charging, that's the original complaint, but people don't really know how to describe certain issues, so you have to be careful. I always go and check and verify uh, the repair myself, obviously, uh, but I also go a step further. This is here for a charging system circuit, so providing I fixed the circuit, you would say, well, that's all you, that's all you were being paid to do, the car's fixed, you did your part and it's done. Yeah, that's true, but the thing is that they'll end up coming back and they'll say to you, uh, the car's not fixed, it's still doing the same thing, you didn't fix it right. And then I'll have to go out there, put a meter on it, show them that it's charging, and they're going to say, yeah, but it's still going dead, you didn't fix it. So what I do is, I cover myself with those kind of things, um, and by, by cover myself, I mean, I always check for a drain, okay? Uh, this car's been sitting now for a while, I let it sit, I didn't want to bother with the camera because I figured it wouldn't, may not have a short. Uh, but this car does, it has a drain. All right, that's, uh, that's too high, guys. Um, this thing should be under 50 milliamps, so we're over 100. Um, it does have a drain, it may not kill the battery, being that it's a brand new battery, it may not kill it if the guy drives it every day, but uh, if this car sits enough, it's gonna kill the battery. So he does have a drain. Um, I called him, I explained to him that he does have another issue here, and he did verify to me that the car does go dead when it sits. So I explained to him that the charging system's fixed, but you need to address this other issue we have here. And he declined. He said he doesn't want to spend any more money. So we're going to call it a day with this car. I'm going to um, give it back to the shop that brought it back to me. And he's going to put the stuff that he took apart together. He said he could do it, he doesn't need me to do it. Uh, he's going to put all that back and um, give it back to the customer and that's it so unfortunately we don't get to fix the parasitic draw but uh, we'll see maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll get his um, uh, he'll, you know he'll think about it a little bit and bring it back we'll see but our our job is done we fixed what it was brought here for uh, originally for a bed for a problem with the charging circuit so that's it thanks guys